Thank you. Good morning. So that's my title. And uh, when forest burns, um, the habitat will be reduced, of course, uh, and, and uh, the amount of food in the soil will decrease. And therefore, we can expect that the abundance and species richness, richness will also decrease. We were mostly interested in the recovery after fire. So if the fauna was survival on site, or if they were immigration from less burnt areas, and that depended, of course, on, on species traits, and uh, again, uh, availability of food uh, is also a factor that affects the recovery. Uh, we, we studied uh, clear-cut burning in Bjuråker and Tierp, and wildfires in Tyrysta and in Petrosavodsk in uh, Russian Karelia, close to Lake Onega. So this is how it looks uh, the autumn after the clear-cut burning in Bjuråker in northern Helsingland. Three years later, it looks like this, with a lot of fireweed in the burnt area, but in the control plots with uh, untreated clear-cut, uh, it was a dominance of Deschampsia flexuosa, as you can see here, for example. And uh, turning to some of the results, uh, orebetid mites are common uh, members of, of the soil fauna, and here I have um, put uh, uh, as 100% the abundance in unburnt clear-cut and compare this with burnt clear-cut. And you can see after uh, the fire, uh, the po populations are, are really low. But you can notice a slight increase with the time. Uh, and in the untreated and uh, old growth forest, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the orobetid mites uh, uh, thrive much better than in the clear cut. But uh, having a look at the species number, uh, it was didn't seem to be a real recovery. So still it's about uh, 20 species uh, uh, less in the burnt than in the unburnt clear cut. Uh, it's good to know uh, what they can stand in heat. And we made a lab experiment, uh, and uh, 40 degrees centigrade seems to be a lethal temperature for orobetid mites, but uh, the mortality starts already at uh, 36 and 38 degrees centigrade. So, having a uh, look at um, some of the groups of orobetids. This is surface living orobetids, and here it's very clear that they suffered tremendously from burning, so uh, no recovery at all after seven years. The humus living orobetid mites, uh, they also uh, had much lower populations uh, during the first years of the burning, but they seem to recover. So being in, in the deeper soil layers uh, can be an advantage. Um, I also will show you some results of a, another animal I in the soil, namely Cognetia sphagnatorum, that is an anchortreed related to earthworms. This is uh, probably the, the most the, the, the animal, uh, soil animal with the highest biomass in coniferous forest. So it has uh, um, about half of the um, total soil animal biomass. So it, it's an important species. Uh, this species, sorry, uh, like unburnt clear cut, here also set at 100%. And uh, burning reduces it, 
but it recovers quite nicely over time. But they, it d uh, doesn't seem to like the forest. Uh, so it's better to live in a clear cut than in a forest for this species, because in a forest we have seen that this species don't like ectomycorrhizal fungi. Uh, it, it lives on, on decomposer fun fungi much better than uh, ectomycorrhizal fungi, and, uh, which has uh, protective substances. Uh, turning to macrofauna, so insects and spiders and myriapods uh, in Tyrista, and this is biomass. And the fire was fire occurred 2001, and F is forest, and then edge of the fire and central part of the fire. And uh, first years, it's real reduction in biomass but then uh, a successive uh, recovery. And among the feeding groups, you can notice that predators are recovering fairly well and uh, have almost recovered. Uh, remember that uh, most of the predators are, are quite mobile uh, and, and they uh, are often present on the surface. So they suffer from the initial burning, but can recover fine. Uh, but then it, it seems uh, weird that uh, predators can be so have so high biomass, uh, and uh, wh where is the food? But remember that anchitrites are not included in the microbial detritivore group here, uh, and uh, um, they had a biomass of, let's say, uh, 4,000. So predators had something to eat, and in addition, columbulans and mites. About the same thing was found in Petrozavodsk, uh, uh, that had uh, wildfire at the same time as Tyrista, so 2001. So this is uh, six years after the fire. So my conclusion is no soil animal species f could be uh, found to, to be favored by forest, forest fire. Uh, fire severity uh, is very uh, important and it determined the magnitude of the mortality. We saw that in the TIRP research site, uh, which I didn't show. but. Uh, uh or, or it, it seems logical that if you burn more, uh, you lose more of the humus layer. Uh, recovery through survival on site was common for deep living animals. Recovery through immigration was common for surface living animals with reasonable mobility. So flying ones, wind, spiders for example, uh, legs so they could uh, uh, run a lot, and uh, big size is an advantage of, of small size. And extremely slow recovery for surface living and immobile <laughs> species. And uh, the latter conclusion is more like a hypothesis. So a shift in performance of litter decomposition. So we have uh, specialists or abetted mites uh, that is probably replaced. Uh, they, they, they have very slow recovery, as we can see, and they will be replaced by uh, generalists like anchorites that can survive from on-site uh, presence. So that was all, and I will thank my co-workers. And uh, th this is what we can see when we are, are traveling uh, around uh, Kishit Church near Petrozabodsk. So thank you.